Hey, what's happening guys? What I've got for you today is a really simple beginner project that uh, anybody can put together in just a few minutes. It is an Arduino uh, passcode door lock system. So you see here we've got our keypad and down here we've got a Nano, a couple LEDs and a relay. Let's zoom in and take a look. All right, so we we'll start with the Nano. And what we've got is the Nano outputting five volts and ground to this rail. And then we have a red LED with its current limiting resistor soldered to the cathode. And that's plugged into A1. That's our lock indicator. Then I have a yellow LED plugged into A3. It has its current limiting resistor there. That is our unlock indicator. And then A5 comes this jumper wire that goes over to the signal pin of this relay here, which can be used to act actuate a solenoid style door lock or an electromagnetic magnetic door lock. And it's picking up five volts and ground from the Arduino. And then on the other side, we have our keypad plugged into pins digital 2 through digital 9. So when you type in the secret code, it will activate the relay and the unlock light. If you press the asterisk or the hash key, it will lock the door or the relay. So let's take a look at the code. Okay, here is the code for the Arduino keypad lock. Only one library, keypad.h. We have some variables. The first one is our password variable. In my case, I have made it 2620. You can make it anything you want. Don't forget, you can use uh, the letters. You can even use the asterisks and the hash. Just change the code around a little bit. You can make a pretty substantial password. All right, then we have a constant byte called rows, which equals four, and a constant byte called columns, which equals four. And that's to set up our array here called keys, which is made up of rows and columns. And that contains our key map for the keypad. Then we have a byte array called row pins with a size of rows and those are the pins. Same thing, column pins with the size of columns, and those are the pins. And an integer called position, which equals zero. All right, now we uh, have a constructor to create an instance of the keypad. There's our keypad library, and we're creating an instance called lowercase keypad, and setting it up to make the key map from our array called keys using our column pins and our row pins. See how that all fits together? Pretty simple. Now we have two functions. The first function is unlock. And what it does is it turns on our unlock LED and it activates the relay and it shuts off the lock LED. Then we have our lock function which turns on the lock LED, shuts off the unlocked LED, and shuts off the relay. Here in our setup, we set our three pins all as output, and we call the lock function so that every time you restart your Arduino, it's going to start up in the locked position. Here's the program itself. It's pretty simple. We're de uh, defining a character called key, which comes from keypad get key. Now, if key is equal to the asterisk or the hash, we set our position to zero and we lock it. So if it's anything else, then we say if key equals password position. Now remember, this is kind of like an array. So we set our position to zero 
So that's our first index. So as long as 2 is the first key pressed, this will pass and then positional increment. So next it'll go to 1 and then 2 and then finally position 3. See how that works? If all the positions are correct, it'll call the unlock function and unlock the door. Simple, right? I know. All right, let's power this bad boy up. And we're ready. You can see the lock LED is on and the relay is not activated. Now, if we type in the secret code, which in this case is 2620, and I use the zero because I forgot to put it in my uh, uh, demo video for this, and I got questioned on why I didn't do it. So here you go, 2620. And now you can see we have switched to the unlock light and the relay is actuated. If we want to lock it, we press one of those two keys I mentioned before and it's locked. Open. And locked. Pretty easy. I mean, you've only got what one, two, three, four, five parts. You can put this together in about 10 minutes, get it up and running. Don't forget these keypads have an adhesive backing on them, makes them really simple. Well, that's it for today's video. I am still working on using the keypad with the Arduino radio having some memory issues, I'm probably going to have to switch it over to Omega. So that video is still upcoming. But if you like this one, give me the old thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. You guys are awesome. I'll catch you next time.